Hello wonderful people at Interwebs, I'm Eldest Sun, and thank you for joining me today for a Prison Architect related video. Uh, this video is going to be about this spreadsheet that I just found while researching uh, some stuff for future Prison Architect tutorials. And I think it's a very useful tool. Essentially it is a spreadsheet that helps you uh, plan your prison. So you'll, you'll, you input some numbers and it spits out some more numbers and that helps you out. Um, we'll go through that, but uh, first of all, I, I'll share this guys with you, you guys, by, um, I'll put a link to it in the description and I'll also share it on my, on my Facebook and Twitter pages for those of you that are interested in that. And I would also like to give a big thanks to uh, uh, the, the person that created this, Giant B is his Reddit name and Shadow Snatcher is the Steam name. Big thanks to him of course. So let, let's dive right into it. Oh, there's one more thing I need to mention. Um, so the link that, that, I, that I'll share with you guys. Um, you won't be able to edit the spreadsheet, so you'll have to go file, um, and then you'll either have to make a copy for yourself or download it as whatever you need. And then if you do XLSX, you'll be able to edit it, edit it in Microsoft Excel, so that'll be good. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, the kitchen canteen is one of the, the first tab here. It's kind of the most uh, complicated one, I think. Um, so essentially you can, uh, you, there's a couple variables you can change up here. You can change the meal quantity, meal variety, and the number of prisoners in your prison, or however many prisoners you actually want to feed. <laughs> and it'll also, it'll tell you how much it will cost to feed those prisoners per day, and it'll tell you the number of things you should build in order to, um, to cook and feed your prisoners. So let's, let's show you an example. So if we change this to like high, the, the meal quantity, that will increase our, our food costs and it'll also change the, um, the number of things that we need here or uh, to, uh, to support this. But mute quality, yeah, it does, the, the variety only changes the, the, fri the number of fridges you need. So if we go down to low, that changes, nothing else changes. Yeah, you, can, you can play around with it. It's, it's a neat little, neat little tool and it also suggests like the for planning your your uh, kitchens and canteens, how many, how much space you'll need essentially. So we can also change the if you want an aesthetic canteen or an efficient canteen. So essentially, if you want to have tables or no tables in your canteen, and yeah, you can you can figure out how how big of a kitchen you need. So you can based on how many kitchens you want. So if you want one really big kitchen, you would find. The, uh, the dimensions of a room that would have this area, and you can build it like that. And there's some tips and stuff there for you to peruse at your own leisure, but it's it's pretty simple. You, you put some numbers and stuff comes out, and all of this is kind of based off of some tests that this, uh, this fine gentleman did for us. And so basically the takeaway from that is that these are kind of estimates for your prison. Each prison is going to be a little bit different, so Use this as a guideline and kind of change things and tune things to your own personal prison. And yeah, it's it's a pretty useful tool. I'm, I'm definitely going to be using this for my future prisons. Um, it all you can also do the same thing for the laundry. This one's a little bit more simple. Um, just enter your number of prisoners. There you go. And it spits out the number of stuff that you need, number of baskets that that. And for this one, also suggest the number of rooms to build. So probably if you need 2.5, you should probably round it up and do three. <laughs> and save for the cleaning cupboard. Very interesting. Very very useful. And this one I think is really awesome too. The workshop. You can enter the number of people you want to be working in the workshop. So 25 is kind of high. So like 10. And it also it approximates the uh, the profit that you'll be making out of this. So you're, it also suggests the number of saws work presses and tables just so you can build your your workshops the most efficient way possible so yeah it's pretty interesting like I said I, I'll share this with you guys I hope you guys will use it I, I definitely will um, so yeah give me a like or a dislike whatever you feel like for this video uh, it's the best way to support my channel and help you because YouTube will be able to uh, recognize what videos you like and be able to uh, suggest more videos that you like so like videos or dislike them, doesn't matter, just do it. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, right, I already did the Facebook video plug at the beginning, so that's all I have for you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and goodbye.